As Christians, we live in a fallen world that we're encouraged to be set apart from. That's what it means for us to be holy as God is holy. But what can we rely on when we see evil all around us? The answer I received today from 2 Kings chapter 9 is that God is just, He will never be mocked, and that God will always avenge those that belong to Him. Today in God's Word, we see Jehu anointed as king over Israel, and immediately he's thrown into the fires of responsibility. Elisha the prophet, immediately after pouring oil on Jehu's head, tells him that his anointing also carries the responsibility of destroying the entire family of Ahab, the king of Israel. In this way, Elisha told him, the Lord is avenging the murder of his prophets and all the Lord's servants who were killed by Jezebel. Jezebel, the wife of King Ahab, was a poster child for an evil queen. She persuaded her husband to allow the worship of false gods in Israel. She was responsible for the deaths of most of God's prophets. And her last act of cruelty, Jezebel had a commoner stoned to death just because he wouldn't give up a coveted vineyard. The prophecy specifically depicted her death by saying she'd be eaten by dogs, preventing her burial. In the end, Jezebel was thrown down to Jehu from a palace window by her own servants. We're told that her blood splattered against the wall and on the horses and Jehu trampled her body under his horse's hooves. It's a fitting death for the archetype evil queen of the Bible. But listen to the rest of the story beginning in verse 34. Then Jehu went into the palace and ate and drank. Afterward, he said, someone go and bury this cursed woman for she's the daughter of a king. But when they went out to bury her, they found only her skull, her feet, and her hands. It's a brutal, bloody end for Queen Jezebel, but a much needed reminder in our world today that God is faithful to avenge his people. He is just in all of his ways and that God will not be mocked, not by an evil queen in Israel or by those who promote evil in our world today.